Hey guys, this is Ronnie here from Early Bird Farms SC. Today we're out here in our little garden area. We got a delivery today. We ordered uh, some Texas sweet onions from Dixondale. A friend of mine, Darren from Jerome B Farm, ordered some of these last year and me and him talked in depth about Dixondale and uh, what a wonderful company they were. And so I ordered some, some uh, onion starts. But last year I did a bulb set and uh, there's several issues with bulb sets being in the south. Mainly, um, they bolt when it gets warm. If you use the little bunches or the starts, they don't tend to do that. You can either start them from seed or you can buy them from them. Let me show you what we got. These are 50 of them. I think they were like $13 for 50 of them. And uh, they send you instructions on how they recommend planting them. We're gonna plant these in the same place we had last year. I was planning on rotating this to a different uh, bed but I just ain't got around to making a bigger garden area yet I got analysis paralysis on that here you can see what the bed looks like before we actually start Wood ash has a good amount of calcium in it. Also, it has potassium and lots of micronutrients. Kelp meal has lots of micronutrients in it as well. It's very low on the uh, MPK scale as far as like your uh, fertilizer numbers, but it's really good for micronutrients. I found this organic fertilizer at Walmart a few uh, weeks back. I'm putting this on here. Uh, this is a 444. This will help round out my nutrient needs for my onions as well as my compost. I'm gonna use the end of this highlighter for a dibble to plant my onions. I'm gonna actually put them in the ground about one inch. Uh, this is what Dixondale recommends. Don't put them in there much deeper than one inch. And I'm gonna make three rows here um, going across. This is what it looks like after we got it all completed. Well, we got all these onions in this bed except for that very front area right there which don't get much sun because of that, that uh, shade cloth blocks that little corner right there. We're pretty much done with this. I got a few uh, little scraggly onions left. I'll probably stick those around my fruit trees out here and we'll harvest those. When the time comes, I'm not gonna bore you with showing you that. But uh, I guess we'll, all we got left to do is to water this and then wait. So this is about like garlic, you plant these, uh, you know, garlic you'll plant in like mid-October. And uh, these onions, um, we plant in my area, you plant them this time, this week, about six to eight weeks before your last frost date. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Early Bird Farms SC. We appreciate you tagging along. Um, we're just kind of documenting what we're doing here. We can look back on this next year and see how we did this and see if it was successful or not. And uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below right here. Also, check out one of these two videos right here. I think you'll like one of those too. We'll see you next time on Early Bird Farm SC, where the SC stands for South Carolina.